Some exciting news right here. We got a bunch of SH figure arts news right here. Quite a bit. Very exciting stuff right here. Uh, let's get started right away. Uh, we right here we got some Dragon Ball figures, Naruto, and we actually got a new tease. Uh, actually have a new figure. We actually got some images of it. Pretty excited to talk about. But here is the Dragon Ball figure of Vegeta. And this right here is giving me the Super Saiyan God. And I'm pretty sure this is during when he was fighting uh, Jiren for the first time. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. Uh, but this figure right here looks pretty cool. I'm not going to say it's nothing too crazy. It's just a little bit annoying. Another blue hair version of Vegeta because not too long ago we got the Broly one for Pritter. So fans were actually kind of annoyed by this right there. It is different. It's like a lighter blue. I would say it's a very interesting color. Very colorful. I'm not going to lie. But to be honest, I actually do like it. I'm actually pretty excited to get it. Uh, most likely be hitting targets in Walmart during uh, most likely September. Maybe November or December. I could definitely see that happening. Um, this old Chris figure is going to be releasing in September of 2024. Um, not too bad right there. And this right here is going to be available Pritter this Friday on April 5th. So not a bad looking figure. I'm pretty excited to get at least one or two. Uh, not too bad right there for a Vegeta figure. Hopefully we do get another announcement for a Dragon Ball figure. Hopefully a new character. We're still waiting for Pam. Um, I'm just really hoping we get some new characters that we have not got. I'm just really hoping for that pretty soon. But minus that here is the new figure that got announced from Yu Yu Hakusho. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Hopefully I did. I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, but this right here is Yusuke and I'm not gonna lie. I'm enjoying the show right now. I've been watching for the past couple episodes. Sadly I've not been watching for the past couple weeks. Been a little bit busy with some schoolwork. Uh, but I'm definitely catching up hopefully during this uh, break right now. But I'm very excited for this figure. Loving the series. It's kind of crazy too because I'm actually hearing um, the English dub and just hearing some of the characters. You can hear the Frieza voice. Uh, you can hear Vegeta voice. And it's just so funny especially for the characters they chose for those voice uh, in the characters. Um, so far for this one looks great. Um, Sally's got the green uniform he does wear in the beginning and everything. Um, I'm really disappointed by that to be honest but still a great looking figure. Love the detail. The expressions are awesome. Uh, for a second I thought the portrait kind of threw me off a little bit uh, but then again it could just be from the different animations from the series maybe the manga and like that so it could be a little bit different uh, but when you see up close shots and everything it looks amazing the hair piece looks very good actually gives you two options for the hair that's actually really cool um, the blast effect right there of the spirit gun looks awesome two options for that that look very very good and right here we got a funny expression uh, with some kind of animal right here kind of looks like a penguin and then the portrait right there for Yusuke looks hilarious I laughed when I saw that um, very funny expression and a very funny accessory right there uh, with Yusuke. So for this figure, nothing has price points or release date, sadly. It just says Predator coming soon. Very interesting. And they also did give us, um, the, of course, images. I think during the live stream, they did say the prototype. So it's kind of weird they already gave us images. So I guess and most likely they're still fixing the figure. Or maybe it's going to come with maybe a little more accessories. I kind of doubt that. Um, but I guess we'll wait and see. Maybe just, of course, the licensing and everything. Uh, but so far, I'm very happy with this figure. Hopefully, we do get some more characters in the line so not too bad for the first figure right here and of course uh, for Yusuke right there and for the last figure is going to be the SH figure to Naruto Sage Mode and here are the images for this figure so far out the bat love this figure the mixed media looks great the expressions right here look very good the effect pieces are insane like right here you get one of the Rasengan shown and it's actually a bigger piece compared to the ones we already got so very good seeing that one this pose right here that his kicking looks very good I like to see the standard of course SH figure to Naruto figure um, but this shot right here really does show some of the effect pieces and it's going to be two giant Rasengan parts that look crazy right there especially with the expression him very pissed off looks insane um, this other effect part right here is a huge effect piece um, the detail on this is pretty good you can see some different coloring right there with the blue and the expression right there of him screaming again uh, very excited to see that and then the mixed media right here looks very good uh, with this figure and we do get some other shots right here of him using the effect piece uh, more up close. And just seeing the detail right there is not too bad. Uh, loving this figure a lot. And then you do get another expression right here with his eyes closed. Um, that looks very good. And some different um, hand parts right there that we have not gotten for this figure. So pretty excited for this one. And a really good shot right here of Naruto in the front. So very happy this figure. Looks amazing. It's just kind of disappointing with this one. Again, it's just, it just has to be a premium Bandai. And it's going to cost. $90. Wow, that is expensive. And I'm sorry, that sounds a lot of money. It's just, it does come with three effect parts and it does come with mixed media. So I could definitely see maybe the price point for that. It's just, damn, $90. Maybe all in total, if this was $90, I would say, okay, maybe it makes sense. 
but you still need to pay shipping and taxes. So that's going to be over $100. And it's just, oh man, 110 115 for this sounds very expensive. And I'm sorry, it's just it's kind of killing me with that right there for the premium Bandai's. It really is. Uh, especially with King Cold. I had a coupon with that one. I definitely picked up that one with the coupon. Uh, I was very happy with that. Uh, can't wait for that figure. Uh, it's just staying that price point with everything with taxes were way too expensive. So thank God I had a coupon for that one. And this one right here is another one I'm going to need a coupon for again. So, I think this figure is amazing. Maybe I'm just seeing the price point way too high. I'm not seeing really the accessories because it does come with quite a bit right there for some giant accessories right there. So, maybe because of that. But minus that, figure looks great. Can't wait for this one. Um, the pre is going to happen very soon on April 1st. And this right here is going to be releasing November of 2024. So, very happy with this figure. Just a little bit disappointed with the price point and maybe being a premium Bandai again. Just very disappointed by that. Am I being too dramatic with this price point? Am I actually being right about this with the expensive how much it is? Uh, just tell me down below. Another thing we did get, it was very exciting. And the reason I most likely would definitely get this is because they teased a next figure for Naruto. And they did give us a tease and it's going to be pain. And I can't wait for that. I'm super excited for that. One of my favorite villains and one of my favorite fights in this series. Can't wait for that. That is going to be a day one buy for sure. I'm just really hoping it's great. It is going to have mixed media. They did tease us the image for that piece right there. Very happy with it. So can't wait to see that. Most likely in the coming up weeks or most likely months for the first look. And hopefully it's not a premium band exclusive. That is, oh my gosh, it's going to be expensive. But minus that, pretty excited right here. Hopefully we do get some updates pretty soon for more figures. But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.